What's going on, guys? Um, in this video, for the uh, my experience about of uh, meeting the Ultimate Warrior for the second time, um, I'm gonna leave uh, pretty much all the details. It's just this video is strictly gonna be about the uh, actual meeting read itself. So um, yeah, this time, uh, just really want to make this uh, more focused on the actual meeting read. Uh, that's all. But um, the only thing I'll uh, the, besides uh, the actual meeting read, I'll tell you, uh, this time I did not get like uh last time how many times did I get sign god figure the poster and actually I think yeah actually I think I got the same number of items signed my bad uh, I got two items I got two autographs and a picture um got they gave you one of these little uh thingies and which you know um, I thought it was a nice touch because it's uh makes everyone in easily distinguishable uh, as far as who got the VIP um, the line, uh, this is what's, what's funny is because when you're in line, um, I guess, there, well, this is part of the details, but it goes hand in hand with the meet and greet part. Warrior takes a long time to get through everybody, to, to get through everybody, but as bad as, as that sounds, it's a good thing when you meet him because he takes the time and talks to you. So, uh, in line, I was just like, I don't know. I was just, since I had a lot, you know, a, a, a lot of time to think about it when I was in line. I was just like, just kind of really thinking it in, like, man, like I didn't, really, I didn't think I'd get to meet him twice, let alone once, you know, or I didn't think I'd get to meet him once, let alone twice. Uh, so it was just very, very like strange. It didn't really hit me that I was gonna meet him again. But um, anyways, my buddy Josh was there. Uh, who's this guy? He goes to pretty much every sign that I go to. He's there. Uh, he goes to uh, more than I do, you know, he, he's gone to some that I haven't, but every every, every uh, signing that I go to, he's always there, and uh, he hooked me up again, because I did not know what was going on with the line, and let me go in front of him, and, you know, uh, which I guess I was supposed to, because I was VIP, but anyways, he took the picture for me that you guys saw at the beginning of the, of the uh, video, so uh, thank you Josh again for that, that was uh, kudos on his, on his part. Or uh, kudos to him for my for my part. I took my camera and I forgot it in the car, and I was just so mad. But I was just like, whatever, you know. But um, anyway, so this time I had um, I'm just gonna show the items real quick that I had him sign, and I'll get to the story. I had him sign my winged eagle, and I really wish I could have had him sign the front. But first of all, I did not know I was gonna get to meet Warrior again. Second of all, I there's no more room in the front. Like this title is like. There's not much room that this is some, if anyone's going to buy this belt, keep in mind who you may sometime meet in the future. You oh, you pretty much only have two spots uh, according to how, it depends how long they have the autographs. But look, I have the autographs that I got there uh, from Sean and Brett. So that's why I kept looking at the belt. I was like, I felt like it was going to be disrespectful having him sign the back. And I really hope you didn't take it that way. But I did not have a room, I, I didn't have room, I did not have room on the, on the, uh, on the belt, on the front part. So I was just like, and I didn't, and I didn't take another 8x10 or a figure, which I should have, that way I could have really contemplated and had more options once I got there. Uh, once I got there, they did have, they did have other stuff for sale, but they didn't have the, uh, 16x20s that I was, that I was looking for, uh, pictures, um, that is, and so that's the only reason I didn't buy anything there, but I did have him sign the back of the belt. And I, I completely forgot because I was just like caught up in the moment. I forgot to tell him to personalize the back since he had a lot of room to write. Uh, I forgot to tell him, but sign it right there. And then he also signed. Uh, where's the? Oh yeah, the magazine that I showed you guys last month that I, I got signed by Hogan at a uh, Bound for Glory. I got him to sign it right here, and you can see personalized it as I asked him to. Uh, Miguel always believe ultimate warrior and well let me see in case you guys didn't catch that there's his autograph and then there's Hogan's autograph okay so for those of you that are probably already thinking why did you get it personalized you, you know it's it looks weird now here's the thing first of all I was never planning on selling this just along just like my other autographed items these are not for me to make a profit off of or sell them to vendors whatever it is put them up on eBay these are my possessions so the fact that it was personalized, and, and this proves it, I don't sell my stuff. I keep them. Plus, here's the deal. I think this magazine perfectly de depicts my childhood. And first of all, this is the cover of my favorite pay-per-view of all time, SummerSlam 91, uh, when uh, uh, Hogan and Ultimate Warrior teamed up. Plus, um, and as there, if you guys know me by now, for those from watching my videos, I was... 
I was a fan of Hogan growing up. I wasn't a Hulkamaniac where I was like this big diehard, you know, Hulkamaniac, a big Hulk Hogan fan. But I was a huge warrior mark though, huge. So I think this perfectly depicts how it is. You know, this one's personalized, it's all detailed and whatnot for, for warrior because that's where my loyalty stood. And then there's like, there's Hogan's plain autograph just by himself. And I mean plain as in just because it's just his name. It's like, okay, I was a fan of him, but this guy is a guy that... You know, I was really behind. So I think this really depicts that. At least that's what I thought, or I think. So I'm going to get that framed and uh, get the pictures of both guys that I met uh, um, from when I met each guy and then put them all together. So once I get that, I'll I'll uh, show in. That'll, that'll be a part of the uh, room tour that I've been asked to do, the video I've been asked to do for like two years now. So, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but anyway, so when I met him... Uh, the first thing uh, he asked me was, uh, what's your name? Uh, or he asked me, how am I doing? And what's your name? I told him, Miguel. And immediately, he recognized me. He's like, you're the one that made the video. And I was like, yeah. I was like, oh my God, you watched that? I thought like someone just pointed it out to you. And like, you know, and he's like, no, I watch all of them. So for those of you who got a message from Moyer on Twitter or via email saying that he saw your video, it means it, you know, he, he, uh, he was able to uh, recognize my video, he remembered the, the clip from my uh, four, uh, fourth birthday party that I put in the beginning of my video, uh, and as soon as I told him my name, he remembered me, so that's how, like, I was, like, I was just flabbergasted that he remembered me out of all the fans that he meets, he's like, see, so you got the beer going on now, and I was just like, <laughs> here's the thing about Warrior, it's like, when you talk to him, he doesn't make you feel like a fan, he just makes you feel like a person, like, he treats you with respect, and he, t he doesn't talk down to you, he, he makes you feel like he's, you know, he's just hanging out with you, like, it's, uh, that's why, I did, as um, my buddy Josh that took the picture um, uh, for me that, with Warrior, he also filmed this whole uh, meet and greet interaction that I have with Warrior, and um, you can see right there, I'm just laughing because it's not so much of what he said, but the fact that he said it, or of how, or how he said it, and his whole, um, it's not of also what he was saying to me, but how he was carrying the whole conversation. I was just like, wow, like he's just talking to me like, yeah, yeah, we're just talking here, you know, just, just chit chatting, no big deal. And, um, um, the first time I met him, I asked him, you know, as you guys saw in the video stuff about, you know, where he, where he and WWE stand this time I asked him the same question, except I kind of elaborated on it more. I told him that I go to WrestleMania pretty much every year, at least for the past four years. Um, yeah, four, three years, 25, 26, 27, 28, yeah, the past four manias, um, this year I wasn't going, but I told him that every year I hear your name rumored, this is the year he's finally going to go in the Hall of Fame, and I think I even said the Hall of Fame that doesn't, that's meaningless or something like that, because let's face it, the WWE Hall of Fame is, uh, it is what it is, let's just put it that way, but I told him that, uh, you know, th again, this year's name is brought up. This is finally going to be the year that, that the Warriors going to be inducted in the Hall of Fame. And I told them, I'm not going this year, but I'm asking you now, is that rumor true that you're finally going to go in, in, the, uh, in the Hall of Fame? Because if so, then I do have to be there. Because I told a lot of people that have asked me, uh, especially the buddies that I, that I went to Mania last year that wanted me to, or were asking me if I was going to go this year. Um, I told them, there's nothing that can get me to go to WrestleMania. Not... Not a not the famous dream card match between Stone Cold and CM Punk and this and that. The one thing that I would I would admit that would get me to go is if the Warrior got inducted in the Hall of Fame because that would just be like, wow, you know, like I can I can't even you know I I can't even begin to tell you how big of a deal that would be, especially for me being a huge Warrior fan. That I could not miss. So I asked them, are you going to be inducted? Because if so, then I have to be there. Uh, you know, I'll change my mind. It's still early enough to, you know, book all the stuff. But, and he pretty much told me, and I, I will cut his, I'll call, cut what he said short, but I'll give you the gist of it uh, for time constraint reasons. Um, he pretty much told me that he, again, you know, he wants them to put out another DVD that says both sides of the story. And I don't blame him. And a lot of people that give the Warrior crap, you know, you really got to look at it this way. The guy has been saying the same thing for years, Warrior. He's saying, been saying the same thing for years. He wants them to release another DVD. That tells you he means what he says. It's not like he's just, you know, like, oh, he's just occasionally mad or that he's just picking an argument. Like, no, he's standing strong from what he believes in, no pun intended. He wants them to make another DVD. He told me that he doesn't think it's fair that, you know, there's other wrestlers that how they give this treatment to other wrestlers where, like, they give 
three disc sets and four disc sets and they have their their nice little documentaries and what does warrior get he get a he gets a one disc set uh, i guess you can call it the two disc set that the fy the fye special or fy yeah fye special but come on it's still the same shit in the beginning they just trash the guy and i have to admit it, it, it's true they, that's all they do in that dvd so when he told me that i was just like yeah and i was just looking him right in the eye because i can tell he meant what he was saying and Again, it, it, he said the same thing. He's t he told he told me the same thing today. He's been saying for years, so I know that he means it. And he tells me that WWE tells him, "Well, you got to do it for the fans." And it's just like, and he t tells them, "No, you got to do it. You owe it to the fans to put out another DVD." And you know, and he's true, and he's, and it's right because WWE is trying to use the argument where like, do it for the Warrior fans, okay? Well, then how about WWE does us Warrior fans right and um. Gives us a DVD that us Warrior fans want. So I completely got that. And, you know, it was just, it was a very cool experience again. And here's the thing. It's, uh, you know, this is my second time meeting him. And a lot of people, when they're going to meet, the, um, when there's an advertised wrestler and they're like, they already met him. We're like, oh, I already met him. I don't need to meet him again. The thing with the Warrior is, uh, for meeting him last year and today, is that every time I meet him, I leave with like this, this, this experience filled with joy and nostalgia and just a good feeling overall and it's like when i see it, warriors going to be signing somewhere that near me i don't look at his i don't look at his like oh i already met him i look at his i have to meet him again because that's how it's like every time i meet him it's like it's like meeting him all over again i know it's going to sound really cheesy but it was just it was just awesome and you know uh, the people that handled the signing every, everything was cool and there's another thing as well for those of you guys that, that haven't gone to a frank and son show uh, and maybe thinking of if you see a uh, signing held by Gemini Sports Collectibles or American Icon autographs, the people that are pretty much handle the signings that go, everything always gets handled pretty good. You know, it, it's uh, they have friendly people that kind of keep the lines in order and you know call people's numbers. So everything, I no complaints at all. And you know, Warrior meeting Warrior is just again another another awesome experience. So if I ever get to meet him again, it'll definitely be another pleasure again. And uh, in case you're watching this, Warrior, uh, because you told me you watched my first video or anybody from Team Warrior's website that's watching this, uh, thank you guys for having another signing. Um, if there's another one in the future in, in California, you could better believe I'm going to be there again. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say except uh, I got my stuff signed. It's gonna get some. I got to find a spot somewhere on my wall uh, to put it up and... Uh, it was just awesome. <laughs> I just loved today. It. it was awesome. But um, yeah, if you guys have any questions um, about my experience with Warrior that I probably didn't answer or you know you're probably curious about, just leave them down below as a comment, and I'll get to everyone's uh, questions as I can. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching.